everyone um, i hope all of you are doing well uh, it's tuesday evening 3:30 is not an ideal time to do a webinar especially since most of us are at home <laughs> sometimes mm-hmm. it comes in, in the in the middle of a siesta but anyways uh, it's good to have all of you um, here my name is kishan and i'll be hosting this uh, webinar webinar today and i think uh, we have an amazing panel today before i quickly introduce them uh, personally i feel it is it is very close to my heart because i have i was born and brought up in kerala and uh, i can say that i was born and brought up on print a uh, newspaper was part of my you know upbringing and growing up and that's something which i that's the personal connection that i have and then also from a professional point of view it's very important to know uh, about how this medium will emerge uh, over the crisis that we all been witnessing so we will we will have what an hour please please feel free to send your questions in between and we'll probably try and get some time in the end to ask some of the questions to some of the panelists um, but if there are some questions that are relevant in between then i'll probably try and get in, get it in so that you know you can ask them uh, ask the panelists on that so again once again uh, welcome all of you thank you anurag and the team at Chief Media for this opportunity I'll quickly introduce the panelists today uh, this panel is actually very very clearly um, representing dakshin uh, you couldn't have got uh, you couldn't have got a better panel representing dakshin because we have people from all possible um, cities in in south uh, from hyderabad we have kartik uh, reddy sir he is director of advertising and marketing sakshi so um, one of the most um, most important uh, print uh, you know uh, publications in the south uh, okay. deep down uh, right down the south uh, from kerala we have varish uh, sandy who is who is a who is a great partner client and somebody who i know for a long, for a long time uh, representing manorama uh, the manorama group so varish sandy is here his dp marketing advertising sales uh, and we have suresh palakrishna from from bombay Uh, representing the hindu group which is family office of hindu uh, and uh, he is representing hindu sitting in bombay uh, uh, and we have ishwar n who is the cmo of kasagram uh, he is uh, he he will bring in the uh, from the bring in the advertiser point of view and uh, he also represents a category which is extreme which has print as an extreme uh, role to play in that and last but not the least we have abhinav khare who is ceo of asian news somebody who can also bring in the perspective of the new age uh, medium uh, of consumption of news so uh, we have an interesting panel uh, the topic is about how print will reemerge as a medium and i don't have to give you the background all of you know that print is one of the strongest medium in the country uh, and it is unlike some of the other uh, markets in the world print is growing in this country it has a large base it is one of those legacy um, medium with a lot of credibility we have um, because of our culture and the language and and and, and the regions there has been a whole host of uh, legacy uh, brands who have been um, providing news and entertainment to a lot of our consumers and then covid happened and it's been almost 100 plus days so i would first of all would want to ask uh, some of our esteemed panelists on how the impact has been and how has been the recovery over the last 100 110 odd days so if i could start from hyderabad from uh, from if i could hear from uh, sakeep ready that how has been the impact so far and how has been the revival more than impact because I and mean, you have been talking about the lockdown for a long long time but i would i would love to hear about the recovery uh, recovery from a circulation point of view from an advertising point of view distribution point of view also from the subscription all of that right i mean uh, how has it been yeah sure kishan thank you uh basically i first of all i would like to appreciate you for uh, branding this as dakshin go dakshin because uh, yeah, dakshin is uh, entirely different from what uh, uh, applicable to our topic dakshin is entirely different from what is happening in uh, uttar and uh, paschim yeah so we we are we are not much uh, disturbed in terms of the circulation at all except for the are uh, urban areas like hyderabad and all that there is a little effect on that during the lockdown days but the rural areas rural areas you have not been affected much at all yeah? so even in hyderabad also 
uh, some of the some of the areas like the uh, big uh, uh, what do you call uh, uh, communities where people apartments and all that there we had some entry problem with the hawkers and the people going in and but immediately after i think maybe uh, end of uh, april we started like minded brands in hyderabad started working together going into all these uh, communities speaking to the rws convincing them there was this uh, uh, apprehension that uh, newspaper is a carrier of uh, corona the virus that we we made lot of efforts through the other uh, through mediums like uh, uh, news channels and all that making the doctor speak to them that uh, newspaper definitely not a medium of care, carrier of corona and all that that is how we could able to convince most of the societies and slowly come back i think uh, we have almost of the whatever, whatever the, we have lost in, the, in between during the lockdown period we are back again almost 75 to 80% we have got back hyderabad is also a place hyderabad is also a place where the uh, the distribution is uh, divided into 50 60 uh, uh, spots from where the hawkers will come and collect the newspaper and go they have their own transportation system and they they go there is no disturbance at all in the distribution part at all so as you say as you see like uh, newspaper always has been coming back more strongly after every every this thing after this pandemic also i think we will come out very successfully and we will definitely face the challenges with bold this thing <clears throat> we are now actually yeah, while while we are affected in the major urban towns we are looking towards the scc 2 3 and 4 towns of towns of both the telugu speaking states we are now concentrating more on that for our more readership and readers and all that so those areas are not that much disrupted the scc 2 scc 3 4 towns and all that that is where we are working harder now to get better circulation better uh, younger readership is available there and uh, in both the states we have almost 250 uh, census towns where uh-huh. the urban facilities are there that is where we are concentrating i think the economy will now come from those areas we feel and we are concentrating more on that while while we are putting efforts on the uh, urban areas also like uh, people will fi- people are finding the rural areas much safer and uh, now we have an early monsoon we are expecting lot of uh, better agricultural uh, to do this thing the uh, we also are finding the reverse migration is also happening to some extent like people are going back from urban to rural areas particularly the daily wage earners and all that the it and all those industries will remain quite good in the hyderabad but the, the, these things are going backwards so we are concentrating more on that so and we look forward to for better growth there while the hyderabad might take a little longer time to come back to extreme a normal position okay that's good to good to hear because i think not just only urban but also in semi urban and uh, smaller towns i think there is a focus to kind of bring back circulation and all of that i will just come to suresh suresh i have to ask you uh, how is the situation in chennai uh, considering you have both both the languages uh, both english and tamil but um, from an urban point of view uh, a newspaper that has been part of the uh, part of the um, daily uh, you know sort of uh, culture how has it been for hindu the, the revival what has been some of the things that uh, that's been interesting from a learning point of view or from a uh, what has been your experience um yeah um, i wouldn't be saying uh, i wouldn't be underplaying it uh, if i said that it was uh, first uh, well, first time in the life that we experienced something like this and uh, you're absolutely right being an english paper and being more metro centric that is 
more chennai coimbatore madurai pondi that kind of a paper so there was a little more pressure on us in terms of distribution etc unlike uh, because in smaller towns i agree with what mr reddy said there was not so much pressure in the smaller towns even we felt whatever circulation we had in a small town tamil nadu didn't get affected in the metros there was some impact obviously because lots of uh, high rise buildings and stuff like that we uh, we came around it pretty fast april was bad uh, april was bad i think for most of us because it was like almost like a handbrake being pulled and a car running at full speed right so it, it came to a screeching halt and then uh, from may onwards i think things started uh, picking up both from a distribution and an advertising perspective uh, april was um, uh, x may was 2x double of uh, uh, april and june was 80% more than may so uh, the advertising money seems to be slow. still a long way to go right? long way to go but it the, the trend line is clearly to be seen so also circulation uh, like mr reddy said today in tamil nadu we are at roughly around 80% of our original circulation in kerala we are at almost 95 98 kerala was the least affected so uh, vc will tell you more about that but kerala was the least affected for us uh, again in andhra we are back to about 75% of our uh, circulation and so also in karnataka so that was the journey but the three things if you ask me that uh, we learned and we did uh, in this were one was staying relevant because um, every day was a new day this city is getting locked down that city is opening this is happening every day was you came to office or you woke up in the morning and it was a new day so staying relevant was a was a challenge for us and we had to be therefore uh, staying relevant and being agile these were the two things we had to be very very fast at for example what we did quickly we converted both sportstar and um, uh frontline into uh full digital magazine we have not printed a single issue of sports that never happened before and uh, mm. and what has happened is in both those subscriptions have gone up you know uh, even under the digital format obviously it has a niche audience uh, who read both yeah. sports and frontline so we converted them directly into uh, into digital last three months they've been they've been no physical copies of uh, sports star and frontline which have done very very well our digital transformation obviously has got accelerated necessity is the mother of invention so digital transformation which we knew was uh, happening in our company has got hugely accelerated by this so we had to be agile in making that happen and whatever advertising was there whenever an advertising uh, advertiser came on board he was saying okay i know your circulation is not 100% so maybe it is you are claiming it is 80 maybe it is 60 maybe it is 70 how are you going to add value therefore make up for that value so So a lot of learns we uh, lessons we learned on how to be agile on pricing, how to be agile on value additions that we give on the digital front, um, etc. But the most important thing I think that, and I think Hindu had a huge advantage over that was uh, it was a trust deficit period. It is still a trust deficit period. There was a lot of fear. People were scared, etc. And I think there uh, Hindu definitely had a march. Uh, is that it was a trusted paper. So therefore we were able to uh, build on that a lot. I don't know if you're aware, but we published almost uh, on on the end of march we published a covid book uh, e book which we translated into 15 languages which told people uh, about the pandemic and what are the symptoms etc and about last week we have published another e book which tells you how to manage the disease about mental health and all that same thing in and in terms of editorial a lot more space got taken up by mental well being uh, activities at home parenting we, we had to change almost um not the dna of the paper but definitely the mix of the paper had to change and change quickly to take care of how the consumer was now behaving in the house right so uh, both okay. from an from an editorial perspective from a circulation perspective and from an advertising perspective if you were to put it into three buckets i think we were challenged and we responded by being agile staying relevant and building on the trust that hindu had these were the three things that we did during the uh, during the lockdown So interesting what you say about relevance and agility, and also trust. I think trust is something which I think I'll come back to in the conversation yeah. because I think it has a big role to play yeah. uh, in in the re-emergence and also relevance at this point in time. Uh, I would come to I would, I would like to ask BC because um, there the the in Kerala, if you see uh, one of the the most trusted media groups, uh, uh, COVID has been relatively better managed as a state uh, is what we know. um there is a huge amount of uh, love towards the morning newspaper as such how has been the how has been your uh, experience has there been some of the same challenges or uh, it all, it also was a period where the issue, where issue happened and it was one of the biggest advertising seasons 
for for retail especially in kerala and how is all 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 this being panned out uh, for for manorama and what are the learnings so if you could just okay to start with uh, you know we have been hearing this uh, uh, you know new norm uh, you know we got to live with etc but uh, kerala i think this new norm has been in practice for the last uh, few years because we had uh, the nipah virus and uh, everybody knows how we managed that and then we had multiple flights so uh, you know disaster and kerala uh, you know we go hand in hand and therefore managing that uh, we have been uh, uh, pretty good at it and you must have heard uh, about uh, our health minister shailaja teacher uh, you know uh, and she's uh, you know uh, now known across the world of how she managed uh, or how her health department managed uh, the uh, the virus so if you know uh, if you remember the, the first covid case was uh, found out in kerala it was on january 30th uh, it is a medical student who returned from wuhan uh, she was found with uh, she was uh, you know tested positive and uh, you know uh, when the problem started in uh, china itself uh, our uh, uh state went into action we started uh, uh you know tracking everybody who is coming from abroad because you know we have millions of tourists who come in we have also a million plus diaspora uh, across the world uh, who keep coming back so there was a tracking of those people started very very early i think that was one of the reasons uh, why we could contain so you know if you remember in italy and in kerala the covid was uh, uh, found in uh, uh, almost the same time but come may you will find that around 14% of the cases uh, in italy they uh, 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 died whereas in kerala actually in may the number of deaths were only two now uh after that we opened our borders to our friends from uh outside kerala as well as from outside the uh, country and uh, we had a very disciplined quarantine practice where institutional quarantine was uh, done in the beginning and uh, you know all that really helped okay uh if you look now we are registering and on an average in the last one week about 200 cases and almost about 95% of the cases you will find are coming from abroad okay so we have been able to manage to a fairly large extent and uh, we also have i would say a fairly decent a fairly disciplined uh, 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 population who listen to the uh, uh, you know uh, to the organizers and uh, to the administration and that really helped a lot and today we stand at uh, around 5600 cases uh, out of which 3000 odd has been cured and so the active case is around 2000 and with a death rate of 27 perhaps the least you know and if you look at the uh, the uh, the fatality rate it's uh, less than 0.5% uh, which is perhaps one of the best in the in the world okay that that is about uh, the pandemic and uh, secondly about uh, the uh, distribution of the newspapers right from the beginning as uh, mr reddy said and as 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 sure said uh, you know uh, we have been able to distribute the newspaper right from day one of covid uh, because of uh, the government intervention uh, both at the center and the state Uh, where we said that uh, uh, very clearly established that uh, uh, you know newspaper is not going to spread the virus so we have been able to convince that and uh, uh, even in the containment area we have been able to get the newspaper distributed uh, so uh, you know uh, we are distributing around 98% uh, 
to 98 to 99 percent, or virtually the same number is being uh, di distributed. So that is uh, uh, one thing. And uh, the second thing uh, about the distribution of newspaper is that uh, you know we also learn, and I think all the entire newspaper industry needs to learn that uh, what actually helped us to survive all these days is a circulation revenue. Okay. Because unlike many other uh, 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 urban areas where uh, even the English newspapers, Hindu is a, is a different difference. Uh, unlike uh, the urban areas, the newspaper was distributed either free of cost or, or marginal cost. We have been able to uh, sell newspaper at a reasonably good price across Kerala by all newspapers. And that has really helped us to survive in the last uh, 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 few months. And uh, I think uh, that is also a great lesson which I think the newspapers have to learn that uh, don't put all your eggs in one basket and you need to actually get revenue out of uh, circulation also, which I, I believe the digital also is learning in the, uh, uh, you know, in the hard way, I must say. Uh, so uh, these are some of the uh, learnings uh, uh, that we had. Yeah. So yeah, um, I'm going to come back to the uh, the learning on circulation because I think it's a very important point from a reemergence point of view to the topic today. Uh, let me go to Abhinav now. Abhinav, hi. Um, uh, would it be fair to say that you know um, uh, this was a good time uh, from a from a from a medium point of view that you know um, consumers being locked at home having more time to spend on digital devices and things like that. And going back to, of course, we, we all saw that television viewership went up um, pretty much pretty high in, in, in 30-40%. News was one of the biggest gainers in that. And uh, consumption patterns changed across the pop strata, across uh, consumer groups. And digital was one of those biggest beneficiaries. So what has been, uh, is that something which is, uh, what from a, from a print point of view, from a format point of view, <laughs> How would you look at this emergence, even though it's a window, which is a very small window, what mm -hmm. would those learnings be, which uh, you yourself have been uh, associated with print as, uh, also in your career? So if you yeah. wear both the hats together and see yeah. what, will, uh, what will you tell uh, based on the learnings in the last three, three to four months? So, uh, hi, uh, thanks a lot for the question. So first of all, uh, why don't I start uh, from, you know, where we started from? Uh, the Asia Net News Network, uh, we do not see this as a, you know, a traditional media industry for us. It's a digital industry where, uh, or a B2C internet industry where we have at the back end, either our prints or our radio channels or our TV channels, or it could be anything. But the front end for us, for, for us, it's a digital company. So digital uh, and, and the focus is also clear when, you know, when, uh, when they selected the management team, for example, I'm not a journalist. I have not, uh, uh, worked in media before I'm an internet guy. I'm an engineer, I'm an MBA, but I'm a yeah, largely I'm an a very, very guy. strong tech background. Yeah. So I have a tech background. So for us, uh, the asianetnews.com is the, is the offering everything else. Our print is called Canada Prabha. Our TV channels are called, you know, Suvarna and uh, Asianet News. Our radios are called uh, 91.9, uh, Indigo and others. Mm -hmm. So everything that just from the back end. From, uh, so once the positioning is clear, um, from our side, uh, we uh, were absolutely fine. I mean, uh, there were more people under lockdown. Fortunately, uh, uh, like Mr. Varghese has just said, we are very, very fortunate that, you know, all the markets where we uh, are operating have been extremely well managed. Of course, we discussed Kerala. Uh, Karnataka has been an exceptional uh, success story. You know, the BSY government, whatever they have done, uh, I yeah, can't just thank them enough. You know, com considering that Bangalore is more comparable with Delhi and Mumbai, you have the figures in Delhi, you have the figures in Mumbai, and look at the figures of Bangalore. Everything that they have done, it's just world class. And because of that, um, uh, I'm um, actually for the Q1. Um, in January, when the first case was detected in Kerala, from there onwards, we started on the 
you know, a conservative business plan that maybe will not grow as aggressively. Maybe we need to focus more on cost and all. Uh, we've just closed our, uh, our, our first quarter results. Uh, we are exceeding our targets. Uh, so that's a good story, at least for us. Uh, Traffic-wise, uh, 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 yes, immense traffic spike. Uh, within the last 100 days, our traffic all uh, more than doubled, actually. So fortunately, uh, if you go the industry-wide uh, comm score report, now we are the only uh, South Indian player in top 10 in the country as of now. We managed to beat uh, NDTV. We are ranked ninth on uh, total PVs. Uh, the entire thing was that, uh, you know, just continue. Uh, uh, since there were uh, some hesitation, and fortunately, you know, a lot of our my colleagues here, they have done a great job in educating and uh, make, creating the awareness around the citizens that, you know, the virus cannot be spread through the print. Despite that, uh, there was a hit. There was, you know, uh, some um, uh, hesitance. Uh, but we then uh, we started focusing more on uh, on the digital, so that more and more people were actually consuming our print offering, that is Canada Prabha, through our uh, through our, uh, our digital platform. On terms of uh, in terms of revenue, uh, the usual uh, players, you know, the real estate, the local uh, retailers, uh, the jewelries, uh, you know, the hospitality industry. That's almost I mean, it's nothing. It's almost negligible. So. Um, uh, Feb and March itself, we started focusing on the new area, you know, like uh, online education. I've got some good clients there, e-commerce technology, uh, some of the gaming companies. Uh, so, uh, but it's still, you know, I mean, we, uh, as an industry, we are, uh, it's not all rosy. We have yet to come out. Uh, it's a, it, I mean, I would say April uh, uh, was more like a crisis. May was slightly better. June, we are uh, we are almost coming out of it. So now, what happens from here onwards will really determine. But uh, it is clear this is not going to be a year of phenomenal growth. Uh, most likely, uh, I think the crisis report says overall as an industry there will be 18% degrowth. Uh, I hope that it's not an understatement. But I think uh, this this looks like like that. You know, we. We would be really happy if without any growth, if we managed to have uh, the, uh, I'm talking just about the print, by the way, uh, if we managed mm -hmm. to have, you know, the same uh, uh, quality, same level of performance as previous year, digital will grow, but overall, otherwise industry uh, may actually uh, degrow. Uh, but yeah, we are uh, constantly, you know, sharing best practices with each other. A lot of things, uh, uh, the colleagues have helped, uh, the things that we could do. So yeah, I mean it's a it's a it's a growing uh, uh, learning phase, and uh, I mean it's I think one of the toughest ones that we have seen, uh, you know, in the last uh, uh, fifteen years. And that for for me, you know, that's my career. I'm still in thirty, so for me, this is the first year where I've seen that things are not growing, but sort of you know stagnating. So still open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, every crisis actually brings opportunities. I will come to that, and also I'll also the interesting point that I'm taking away, which I'll bring it back is. Uh, about getting the positioning clear as to what what industry are you in, and hence kind of use all your assets around it to kind of go back and uh, define uh, yeah. whatever is the consumer satisfaction that you would want to do, right? Uh, but I'd let me come to Ishwar. Ishwar, I'm thank you for being patient uh, <laughs> because you are a most integral part in this. At least uh, yeah. at this point in time, the advertiser is the most critical element in it, and you also represent the category at this point in time. Which is um, which also has gone through a lot of challenges because of the the current uh, situation and also as a category real estate is something which depends a lot on print because of the way the nature in which uh, print actually delivers to some of the category objectives right how has it been for you um, the revival uh, have you been advertising not advertising uh, have you been waiting for or the the faith on the medium has been continuing but you're waiting or how has been the last hundred and Hundred odd days as an advertiser from a uh, from a print point of view. Uh, see, obviously we had a big lockdown out here in you know Chennai, right? So the lockdown was there, and then it was opened up, and then we again had a lockdown. Uh, and especially in a, you know category like us, which is a real estate, uh, people have to really really you know come out of their homes, see the property, and then only buy. At least at least eighty ninety percent of the uh, purchase happens like that. So you are, you know, you are actually, you know, you are actually, you know, you are actually, you know, unable to achieve anything of that because of this, because of this lockdown. So we had actually, uh, uh, we actually, you know, didn't advertise anything at all during the lockdown period. Uh, 
uh, be the period of April and May, even though we had some visibility in the you know TV medium for sure in the month of April and May, but we didn't have any exposure to print in the in the month of April and May. Um, because we were also seeing because uh, it didn't make any uh, any business sense for us to do any ads at that point of time. Uh, once the lockdown opened here on uh, June one, right? Uh, so we opened the lockdown. We were the first ones to actually uh, advertise, uh, and uh, we we have been the, you know Kasarand has always been the biggest spenders on print in uh, you know Chennai and in you know Tamil Nadu for the last five years you know consistently. Uh, so we've been very heavy on the print because the you know category you know demands it one, and it works or works for us from a you know tactical perspective. Tactical perspective in the sense you expect people to walk into the site during the weekends because that's the time that they have, and you and you also uh, kind of heavily advertise during the weekends, right? So uh, we were the first ones to advertise once the lockdown was open here. So we uh, and we take bigger spaces. We uh, we actually take spaces like you know, J one, J two in the front page, and uh, and we also and we also advertise across uh, newspapers at one go. So it is not that we uh, we you know advertise only English or only Tamil. We advertise in all the newspapers, and that's what we did when we actually opened up from the lockdown. We advertise in uh, uh, we. Uh, it is in all the four or five newspapers that's available here hindu i mean uh, english and uh, you know tamil and uh, we it is in june first weekend and then we backed up again it is in the june second weekend as well so it's not that we tried once and we stopped it uh, so we did again in the june second weekend as well so what it actually did was that uh, we were able to you know clock uh, close to uh 150 units of sales in those 15 days of time uh it came as a big shocker for us also okay because uh, uh people are still in the lockdown mindset you don't know whether uh, home buying is there in their mind uh, even to buy with you know yeah. job losses happening here and there with, with salary cuts we were you know not sure at all whether these kind of heavy advertising will work heavy advertising in print will work uh but it actually worked for us i mean i mean uh, 150 units we sold in a matter of two weeks is like our regular month i mean regular non lockdown month non lockdown month sale uh, mm-hmm. uh so we didn't expect it to work very honestly speaking but we were ready to take the plunge and see what happens this because all, because we all units in chennai this all for units in chennai yes or? yes yes i mean i mean i mean 85 you know, 90% in you know, chennai and then the spread is across in you know, coimbatore and bangalore okay. um uh, so uh, uh, i mean i mean it it actually worked for us and then uh, and we being a you know category you know leader here in you know chennai uh, we thought that uh, we have to do it to you know move the industry Otherwise, the industry doesn't move at all. I mean, saying we being you know biggest have to advertise. I mean, have to advertise to bring you know confidence to everybody else as well, and and at the industry as well. So oh. that, that so so actually you know that's what we did, and uh, it worked for us. I mean, it actually worked for us on ground. Lovely. That's really reassuring because I think that's something which we've been telling that you know um, there are certain categories where this works really really well, and that even in Situations like this. So now I think um, there was a very interesting starting point because, uh, like Mr. Mr. Reddy said about going deeper down, younger audiences and things like that. I'm going to make sure. Go I'm going to make sure his rates go up. <laughs> I have already bugged in the rates. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, Suresh, you spoke about relevance and agility and trust and all of that. Um, uh, actually, you spoke a very important point about depending not just depending on your advertising revenue, but also sort of spreading your uh, risks and things like that. And um, Abhinav also spoke about being very clear on what business are you in, right? That's where I'm coming to the the most important question of. how can print reemerge uh, uh, at some point i also even think that you know probably this has been a very good uh, good good experience because most of the articles or webinars that you have seen everybody consistently says that 
this crisis is an opportunity and i think i mean if you see most of the articles most of these things while everybody is being uh, honest that it has been tough times it is also an opportunity that everybody says right and a lot of companies lot of industries that are using this uh, this um, crisis as an opportunity to pivot their business and sort of transform their business right um, suresh spoke about the digital acceleration that happened in in in, in your company right so i am asking a, a question and i am going to try to break it down into two parts of if print has to now emerge looks like july onwards there will be better consumer sentiment there will be more demand lockdown will get eased there will be more and more people and jobs and money in the market and things like that um i have my question and i'm i'm going to come to each one of you in this but my question is that how can print reemerge now right there is one angle of content format distribution and there is another angle of revenue model right which is about subscription versus uh, advertising and all of that so let me take the first part which is the content format uh, part of soft print right if print has to reemerge itself do you think that i'm going to come to each one of you but uh, my question So the larger question is: If print has to re-emerge as a as a as a as a medium, because a uh, few years back print was the largest medium in the country. Now it is number two, number three, depending on the digital is number two. Print is a very strong uh, number three in that sense. However, it is growing unlike some of the other markets. It is credible. It is working for a lot of categories. On the other hand, there is also a lot of T20 happening on digital, right? There is a lot of snacking of news that is happening. Formats are changing. Uh, all of that content consumption itself is changing even for some of those hardcore print uh, loyalist audiences uh, in the last 3 4 months right so if print has to reemerge should the content and the format of print has to change is my is my first question and if yes how let me let me let me come to suresh first uh, because you spoke about digital acceleration um do you think this is a great opportunity to pivot on the changes you also briefly spoke about sports star in front the front line changing some of those formats and things like that but can you tell us is this the beginning of a new sort of a reemergence of content and format of print the way you used to see it earlier um i wouldn't say it's the beginning of a new emergence that's the only uh, disconnect uh the thing is that if you if you know uh, all of us have been in this industry we all know that this happened quite what uh, close to 10 years ago that we realized that you know digital is something that print will have to develop etc etc and it will have to grow along with digital a lot of print companies invested in digital more than 10 15 uh, 20 years ago uh, the first e paper to be launched i think was the hindu in 2005 in this country so uh, various uh, things have happened uh, what this pandemic has done though and that's where that's what you're interested in is the fact that we all had these plans but everybody thought that we had a longer runway right to get into digital and make digital uh, part of uh, the print offering because let's face it at the end of the day at least as far as hindu is concerned we are clear that let's say a few years down the line uh, i don't think we want to be a media company we want to be a content company and we want to be a content company that is serving not only india but global audiences yeah indian diaspora and in, uh, across the world as well right and if that's the vision and that's the long term vision uh, for most of us there has to be it has to be platform agnostic and therefore that plat- and this again was a wisdom that we had what this pandemic has done is fast track this whole thing therefore let me give you a few example in my organization we have collapsed the digital sales force and the advertising sales force now it is one large sales force selling both digital and uh, and print and this happened it, it took a lot of training and all of us were at home in the month of april and may so we did hours and hours of training with our uh, sales team today my whole sales team of 200 256 people to be precise are actually selling digital and print one of the changes that we were contemplating that we want to do we did it first april bang right so that change happened sports star and uh, i already spoke about have have already gone uh, digital right editorially all my editorial staff is pivoting right much faster than they would have done normally they the, the process had begun in my organization editorial staff because that is that is the backbone right the content uh, content driven whatever you put up digital is only a medium you need the content so what happened was the pivoting of the uh, editorial staff also got accelerated today i have um, a large bunch much larger bunch of people thinking digital first 
even a, even in a newspaper company we had a few people thinking digital first and a much larger newspaper first contingent in editorial like a traditional uh, uh, print company now it's almost 50 50 there are so many more people thinking digital first so this this whole thing has got accelerated point number 1 point number 2 which uh, uh, vc touched upon was this whole pricing game has changed in feb 2019 uh, hindu went pay uh, hindu digital went pay few months later hindu e paper went pay business line digital went pay business line e paper went pay everything was pay by the time we hit uh, the pandemic we were we were uh, all behind a paywall right and now we find a lot of publications now trying to get behind the paywall because of the pandemic obviously also we are the most expensive english newspaper in the country as far as cover price is concerned again a journey that we had started more than 5 these are the things and i agree with vc complete these are the things that are paying off for us we are the, i mean in delhi if you go we are 10 rupees on a weekday 15 rupees uh, uh, on a weekend everywhere else we are 7 rupees 8 rupees on a weekday 10 rupees on a weekend these are all these are expensive uh, cover prices for an english newspaper like we see we followed the uh, we followed the regionals in that so the economics of the business have changed the acceleration towards digital has changed and this whole thing about delivering value proposition to the advertiser so obviously the questions that are being asked are getting harder and harder now with money is getting uh, lesser and lesser so therefore this whole tran- transition is something that has happened at a, a much faster phase for us both the economics of the business and the uh, and which and the and the construct of the organization itself is going through a change a change that we had already envisaged what this has done is it has a fast track it and therefore yes what will emerge therefore what will emerge will be i think uh, different than what it was okay so i think uh, that's that's a very important point of how it, it all got fast tracked and realization has hit us far more than what it probably would not have been right it, it, it was normal um uh, mr reddy i would like to ask you is this the same uh, from your point of view also because you are in a very different market is that the same or is there any uh, any way in which you see uh, you also have a very strong digital offering there is also uh, the, there is a, there is also a, a sort of a integration between the two but is this the only thing that is required or are there are there more changes that is required from a format point of view for example um across the globe there are evening newspapers uh digital serves a certain role of snackable content maybe but the depth in depth understanding uh, probably is still the physical copy and it's all about habit formation so is there any any way of looking relooking at the business now that it's a, it's a sort of an inflection point from a both content and format point of view is that something before, before coming to that first of all i wish to uh, say that this was a good news from uh, mr ishwar saying that print works print definitely works you know print definitely works instead of in spite of so many uh, revolutions and issues and all that print will come back and print will work and print print is the what we say is more still the more credible medium it is uh, considered as a credible medium so for print will continue to survive and uh, it is a habit formation now people will not be as comfortable to read news in other means of devices or anything like that, as they are comfortable with the newspaper by holding the newspaper in their hand and, and i think it will continue to grow even in for the next uh, decade also i i don't see anything that print will suddenly disappear or will go back to the however we have to put our efforts in developing the digital equivalent of the newspaper we have to work on the editorial content we have content on the formats also the newspaper formats also will have to work uh, i think uh, we we have to uh, uh, give more uh, uh, what do you call a news a newspaper for everybody in the family and all that we have already come into those formats like uh, mm-hmm. we have to be giving the news in a smaller formats uh, in a uh, shorter this thing we have to convey the meaning of it we should uh, catch the and we should also uh, evolve strategies and all that where we should start catching the reader the young readers the what we say millennials will try to we should address to them and try to get more readership from that <coughs> point so and uh, coming to the marketing part of it yes we should be needing the we should package the both print and the digital and work together so that uh, as the the advertisement pie is sinking we should give the best mileage to the advertiser by 
working out combos by working packages and all that. That is how I think. I think both print and the digital can survive together for a longer period. Okay. So yeah, I think that's very interesting point of uh, for different audiences. How do you create different? um different kind of uh, news offerings are uh, that's something oh. is very interesting this when i come to you um manorama is, is a group which has been uh, also pioneers in um, giving a digital offering to uh, to malayalis uh, not only in kerala but outside uh, kerala as well uh, there is also different print formats which has got very very strong sort of following whether it is uh, vanita or some of the other whether it is um, whether it is weed uh, or uh the um, the uh, you know financial magazine or uh, health magazine and things like that uh, my question again the same is that however we have not seen any drastic change in 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 the way the format is looked at for example um, a lot of the younger audiences are embracing print uh, even in kerala right so kerala there is a growth happening even younger audiences are interested to get into in depth analysis given by a newspaper we have never seen something which is a special offering only to them for example uh, or another format which is a digital only format or or or, or a combination of that anything which is from a from a from a from, from a publication house been having such a great success across formats what is the new thing that this this pandemic has forced or is there anything like that from a from a from a content and format point of view for reemerging as a, as a, as, a, as an industry okay uh, uh to start with uh, let me just uh, say that i don't believe in a digital first or print first you know i mean i would say that digital those who want to be first let them get into the digital those who want print i mean first thing in the morning if you want to read the newspaper let them read the newspaper that's exactly what malayalam manorama is doing as kishan has rightly said uh, you know uh, we have been uh, you know early investors on uh, our digital space and we have done fairly well and, uh, and not only that uh, 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 you know uh, uh, we have uh, done well we have done very well in the sense that uh, 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 you know we have reached about 35 million uh, unique visitors for uh, uh, manorama online and it is growing and it is uh, as uh, abhinav uh, has said that we have also grown tremendously during the uh, pandemic uh, uh, time so to my uh, uh, belief it's not about uh, the format as i will say it is i would say it is more about the reemergence of the legacy medium and the legacy medium actually stands for the credibility and uh, you know the verifiable news all of that so that is what the legacy media uh, 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 medium uh, offer and the format could be any format could be uh, could be very different uh, you know it could be the digital it could be the print uh, it could be anything okay we are trying to be in all those spaces uh, filling uh, across you know so uh, again talking about the print which i which is my first love i just wanted to say that uh, what really happened uh, immediately after the lockdown you know two examples i'll give is when uh, the automobile showrooms opened up on the first day one of the guys uh, you know we we had actually a jacket uh, of a certain automobile and uh, he the, the dealer called up and said he had 200 bookings on the same day just like uh, our friend has talked about the real estate 200 bookings on the day the uh, jacket appeared the second case was on july 3rd the first malayalam film to come on ott uh, sufiyum sujade you probably would have heard about uh, uh, or seen some of you may have seen that film yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, it was uh, uh, you know with much difficulty we got on to malayalam manorama print and after it came on print until then it was actually coming on digital it was coming on television everywhere and uh, the day it appeared on print the producer called me up and said i must say that the 
you know, the, the response that we got today is perhaps uh, better than all other medium put together. You know, that was actually a great uh, testi testimonial for uh, print and I think print uh, uh, work definitely works. And uh, I would say that uh, for many more years to come, it will work in Kerala. At the same time, we will continue to invest in uh, the digital space to uh, cater to those who uh, uh, want to see it on digital first. But uh, the pandemic, what is exposed due, uh, uh, is about the shallowness of the digital medium where, uh, you know, the, the trust deficit was huge during uh, 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 these times when people were, uh, you know, giving all kinds of wrong news and then, you know, uh, people will click on a Hindu or a Nationet or a Manorama news to actually get on to the correct uh, news. So I would say it is a re-emergence of the legacy media. Okay, that's very interesting because I think um, I think I don't think any, there was any time where the trust was sort of bringing back the confidence back into the medium in any any of the recent past. <laughs> Let me ask you, um, it's also come up in some of the questions which people have asked, saying that all this is fine, however, uh, how are you going to make uh, the physical format of the print exciting for uh, today's millennials who are all the time glued onto uh, their mobile screens and anytime mm -hmm. they can get news from any sort of uh, sources uh, because of the mobile screen, you mm -hmm. are somebody who uh, has interest in all the, all the formats, all the, all the formats. Um, how how will how will that happen? How how what is it that uh, print can do to reemerge? Considering that a lot of habits are going to now continue, right? Yeah. Post COVID. Yeah. So uh, I mean, let me just start by, by saying that I absolutely agree with everything that Mr. Vargis has said. You know, uh, the Hindu um, uh, Malayalam Manorama, Asian News, Sakshi is always going to be more reliable, especially when it comes to news, it's about credibility. If you even take the global market, just look at the, the leaders, La Figaro, uh, you know, New York Times, Washington Post. So what you will see, uh, that there will be the legacy gold standard brands, like, you know, a lot of uh, the brands uh, uh, who are available on this call. That's part one. Part two is uh, the new age startups who are starting the digital uh, first uh, brands. There, they, there will always be issues related to credibility. In my opinion, success will come to the legacy brand who could manage to rope in, you know, the cutting edge uh, sort of uh, tech startup-ish kind of talent. And the, you know, the New York uh, Times.com, the Washington Post.com of India are still emerging. I mean, next 10 years, we will see. And I am pretty sure that uh, at least the top four or five players are going to be coming from the legacy brand. People who are, you know, who can uh, successfully pivot. Uh, so mm -hmm. I absolutely agree with Mr. Varghese. Uh, and also the second point, I mean, even internally, um, you know, a lot of my uh, colleagues uh, at Asian News are much older than I am. So they also say the same thing that, you know, in the morning I need uh, to touch my newspaper with my uh, uh, you know, cup of tea or cup of coffee. So these are the habits that these guys have been in for the last 20, 30 years. So that cannot be changed. However, let's just go to uh, the slightly younger audience, you know, the teenagers, the 20s, uh, or even someone like uh, me, you know, in 30s. Uh, uh, 2004 was the last cable connection. Uh, I mean, uh, once I moved abroad, it was always, uh, you know, the uh, online streaming. And fortunately, afterwards, the Netflix guys came, the Amazon Prime came later and Hotstar came and so on. In my house, uh, I got, uh, uh, I mean, a cable connection just to monitor what is happening on Asian and News or, uh, or, or Suvarna. But otherwise, from um, overall yearly consumption would be in minutes. It's not even in hours. We don't watch it. Um, uh, newspaper, I have not, uh, I've not bought a newspaper for, uh, I don't know, 15 years maybe now. So, uh, so and there are a lot of uh, people from my generation and much younger than me who have not actually started reading newspaper, they directly moved to digital first. So coming back to your question, um, we uh, are ex doing experimentation, you know, in terms of uh, uh, in on the website, what we call the user experience, the UI and UX. So, you know, redesigning, of course, you can't uh, touch master too much because, you know, 
that represent the gold uh, standard, the legacy brand. But in terms of you know what uh, to be present and all the color combination, how could you make it more exciting for younger generation? Um, at the end of the day, uh, once again, uh, I believe uh, it's not going to be about the medium. Uh, it's, it is just going to be about uh, the right, uh, producing right content, being credible in it, and then uh, formatting. Uh, no one can, you know, determine uh, today. Like this is going to be the format. It's a, it's, it's still an experimentation phase. Uh, next couple of years uh, will really determine. Some early patterns are emerging already, but it is too early for me to, you know, make a conclusive statement ki, that this is gonna work and this is not gonna work. But uh, yeah, I mean, eventually uh, the. Uh, the proportion of uh, of digital versus the traditional media, I think, I believe digital will, you know, increase. It it will keep on increasing, and uh, the legacy brand will be uh, uh, the ultimate winner. I mean, so yeah. Okay, so um, so that brings to the other point. Second point, which is of uh, how uh, the medium can reemerge, is around. Uh, the offering to the advertiser because advertising revenue is the, the other big part of it, right? Which is still controlling uh, whatever 60, 70, 70%, 70 percent of the of the of the revenues, right? Uh, on one hand, digital has credibility, trust, all of that, which is now paying off, right? For uh, it is, I mean, the the automobile example or the real estate example shows that. On the other hand, there is this huge gold mine of um, regional knowledge, nuances, understanding of the market, which is something which uh, every marketer would want to pay probably a premium for, right? Because today it probably is um, easier to do a national campaign than to win in uh, smaller regional pockets because that's becoming far more difficult to understand regional nuances, crack the insights regionally, and then then create uh, you know compelling storytelling within regions. Whereas print, where print has a huge benefit over some of the other medium, right? Because they know the regions inside out. So my first question is to Ishwar saying that if let's say uh, print re-emerges itself and comes to you in a very different way of uh, paying a premium on the trust aspect, on the credibility aspect, and also the regional connect aspect of it, as advertisers will be open to paying that because like VC said, you cannot be consistently relying on a certain pricing model. It has to change at some point in time based on the inherent strength of the medium. If the strength of the medium is trust, uh, credibility, and regional focus and regional expertise, are advertisers ready to pay that premium today? And I'll come, um, to, I'll come, come to all of you later saying how do you get that. But let me first, it will be interesting to hear Ishwar's point of view on this. Um, I think in this uh, situation, right, the last thing that, uh, last thing or the first thing that anybody would do from a business perspective is to, you know, cut the marketing cost. Okay. So when I'm talking about, you know, cutting the marketing cost, it means all the stakeholders in that are going to bear the point. Uh, if, if the stakeholders like the print or the online or the any medium of you know, communication for that matter uh, has to play a role in my success, then I think that uh, probably I will, uh, me as an advertiser and as a biggest spender in the print media, I would say the rate has only, you know, come down for, uh, for a very simple fact that, um, for a very simple fact that uh, the business has to evolve and move and, uh, you know, things have to happen first. We are still in a very, you know, nascent stage of after lockdown, and uh, I don't no, think we are now, ready. Going forward, going forward, let's say let's say six months down the line, or uh, if print has to reemerge its pricing model based on the trust and credibility, then will you play? Will you be will you be willing to pay a premium? I see. Uh, um, I'm not sure right now. I mean, I mean, I mean, if you if you ask me a question honestly, I'm not sure right now because we don't know in this in this kind of a scenario what will happen next week and the next month, right? So if you're asking uh, asking me to estimate for the six months, I'm not sure what will happen once. Uh, but uh, but what I could say is, you know, uh, uh, if you want to get a lot more of uh, advertising revenue from an advertiser like me, okay, me being yeah. the biggest spender, I can talk for it, right? Uh, for me, I will I will say that you know uh, I will need a lot of you know editorial support as well, okay. Here they, they're all talking, saying, you know, content, editorial and stuff like that, right? So I would only say how much, I mean, 
see you when when all this you know media right on a small negative news you you know latch up on to it and then you make it as a big news right so a small success be it from anybody why can't you, you know why can't you actually also you know also why can't you know make that a big story only when you do that right my business evolves the whole industry evolves and the, and then you know coexisting happen so it can't be like you know it can't be like the you know editorial rights uh, saying that real estate is slow and then uh, you know negative uh, thing is there you know construction you know delay you can't write that and again you can't you know, come and ask me for a premium even after one month or one week or six months that will not work like that at all i am i am saying when we are saying sorry uh i am only saying uh, uh i don't mind paying a premium at any point of time but i need to see a lot of value addition happening out of the mediums as such unless always i see value addition i am not saying i'll take up spot i am not saying you actually you know give me a space i am not talking about those things those things i can i can anyway you know get out from the you know money i have but i am saying the general sentiment now that you are saying you know print is the most you know trusted medium of you know communication you are saying that uh, people read the print first and they actually start you know believing on whatever you are you know writing and you know talking right so write something you know nice about everything you no know? i know i i actually understand you know negativity makes you know lot more of a bigger news than a small amount of you know positivity but there's you know, nothing wrong in writing good positive optimistic things that helps you and helps us also in return so that that's the that's the only way that's the only way that you could get a premium out of anybody otherwise uh, you increasing the rates or me wanting to pay you pay you for the increasing rates i am not sure it would uh, work even now or after 6 months actually okay so you think that the inherently bring more value than it is it's a question of value versus uh, right i just want to ask uh, um, uh, and this is open to uh, vc mr reddy or suresh saying that there is this whole uh, balance between subscription versus advertising right on advertising um, is about how much of premium that you can probably command based on the strength inherent strength that you have and uh, subscription is a functional number of pages and um, all of that there's a cost uh, a link to that also from a production point of view like how do you how do you see the balance changing uh, if the industry has to reemerge um, how do you increase the share of uh, subscription in a, in a situation where for example even a digital monetization for a lot of there's a question saying that uh, do we even have uh, the legacy players have the digital monetization model uh, you know uh, looked at uh, very closely so how do you bring that balance and what is the what is the right balance i mean yeah mr ken sure hello mr ken yeah, yeah. first i'll first i'll address the advertising point point of it apparently the print media appears to be very costly but it is very adaptable hello hello yeah we can hear you we can hear you yeah it is very adaptable we can match the uh, requirement of the advertiser to the right target audience at the rate we can also work out a good cost efficiency and it when we we'll like uh, for a uh, hello hello yeah we can hear you we can hear you yeah yeah Uh, for we can have a we can have we can have an advertisement worked out or a package worked out for casa grand like uh, client and also a small client in the uh, local area where he would like to give some greetings or he would like to give a birthday celebrations and all that you know we can match that you know uh, like uh, sakshi we have tabloids which uh, we we have uh, constancy level affordability of advertisements yeah so we give we give the local news and we give we change two pages for that constituency and uh, we we make it more relevant to that reader as well as the advertiser so that is the beauty of the print media as of now because of the technology available and all so now hello yeah yeah hello and yeah, coming here we can hear it yeah yeah coming coming to the subscription part yeah no, basically the as it is the uh, roi for the print medium is uh, very less because of the uh cover prices cover prices are not really very great so 
of course if you have to add numbers and if you have to increase the circulation in the certain segment and all that we can go for subscriptions also and the subscription will definitely work uh, because it will be uh, uh, it will be it will be giving the reach and also uh, uh, what do you say the reader would be uh, interested to pay a value for the money no uh, okay okay, okay. so uh, Yeah. Uh, the way, yeah. yeah. The way um, I see this panning out over a period of time uh, is like this, Kishan. That um, uh, cover prices will increase. Uh, if anything, this pandemic has taught this. Uh, apart from people like uh, you know some regional papers and papers like Hindu, the other English papers have already started talking to each other, saying you know we should up cover prices. There's already some conversation that's going on. Uh, about uh, increasing cover prices they have learned the lesson the hard way as they say uh, so uh, and also it's a right time because the reader is learning to pay for content right uh, today mm -hmm. a lot of things thanks to people like amazon netflix etc the, the the viewer the reader has learned to pay for content the indian reader yes. finally indian viewer reader finally realizes the holiday is over and he has to start mm. he has to start paying for content right look at look at even your telecom costs i can tell you telecom charges are also going to go up slowly and steadily as jio has already shown us right so slowly we are learning to pay for content and it's the right time therefore to uh, harden your um, uh, cover prices the way i see the economics of this business changing i think the balance between which you mentioned of advertising and cover prices will become more balanced i think it will come to uh, 60 40 or even a 50 50 would be the ideal what it will then do is actually advertising rates will harden because the less the dependency on advertising rates the more you can afford to harden them right today why are advertising rates so soft right why do why do why does every everybody come to the table and negotiate as far as you know because you are supremely dependent on advertising right no advertising you don't have enough revenue the movement is balanced set i think there will be more why do why does everybody look at a singapore straight times and say wow one quarter page ad per page what a lovely layout it looks like a fabulous paper right because they can afford to put one quarter page ad in a paper and publish a 24 page uh, paper because the cover prices are high advertising rates are high and therefore they can deliver great content to the reader because please understand the ultimate objective is to reach the reader with great content yeah the advertising is the advertiser is piggyback uh, riding on that uh, on that vehicle it's not the other way around it's not been created for the advertiser and the reader being a you know a by product of that so because of this this will balance out on the digital front i think the brands that are like he said whether it's hindu malayalam prama sakshi asia net these are all very strong brands right and at the end of the day the strength of the brand will come through in digital as well so you will start be able to charge a premium on on the digital space as well we have already proven it in hindu we are all behind a paywall on everything and we are going to keep uh, we are going to we are behind the paywall we are launching iOS there, there uh, was a question there was a question on that there was a question yeah. on that thing correct yeah. so so i mean uh, the the reader will pay for good content the reader will pay for credible content the reader will pay for content that is well researched that is well put out because as vc said today you have a lot of trash out there on the digital space right so the moment you are able to distinguish that with great content fortunately we have just to give you a small example this sushant singh rajput's Uh, suicide right you wouldn't have seen a single speculative article from the hindu about what happened etc etc we reported the facts and whatever article we reported below that there was a suicide helpline number in every sushant singh article that yeah, we reported. Yeah. you know so there is a certain discipline a certain you know way we uh, look at editorial the way we uh, uh, you know want to put out for the reader if you keep these if you keep the fundamentals of the business in in mind that your reader is your primary target audience and you need to deliver great value to the reader right and great content to the reader the rest of it will fall in place and charge him for it make him pay for it don't give it to him free charge him for it the rest of it will all fall into place that's how i see the dynamics you know evening out in this business okay uh, before i before i wind up any closing thoughts on on this we see yeah uh, uh, kishan uh, uh, my point is uh, i think suresh has uh, uh, you know concluded in a fantastic uh, manner is exactly what uh, uh, i also had in mind uh, but taking a uh, uh, cue from a question which you asked uh, earlier about should newspaper be paid premium 
I am just requesting Kishan and his uh, fraternity <laughs> to give us our current rate, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and and uh, not a, I'm not, we are not asking for premium, but give us our current rate. Secondly, you know, uh, I just came out of a negotiation before this meeting, and uh, the guys were saying from Delhi that uh, you know we are doing so bad, so the print should support us. Now, are we doing so well to support a, a company that is uh, perhaps hundred times, uh, you know? Uh, more uh, uh, has revenue than us, and uh, I mean, on the contrary, I will probably ask them. You know, you asking for one plus one, will you give one uh, uh, car free for a car, another car, or one bike free for another bike? Okay, I think there has to be a limit to all this, and I think uh, we need to work as, as partners, uh, the media, the uh, uh, the. client and the advertising agencies and the advertising agency being the link between the two should take the initiative for that that's what i got to say yeah kishan he we kishan we see on the on the panel and with an advertising guy moderating it he had to have a shot you know, he always <laughs> let me tell you i have been on lot of panels with him he always takes a shot so the good shot we see <laughs> so thank you so much everyone i think it was very very Interesting because uh, there are few things which is very very clearly emerging, and I think we have overshot on time. Some of the questions which were asked, I try to uh, include in some of the questions as well. Uh, for the other questions which we couldn't, I'm sorry uh, due to lack of time. But I think uh, some of the things are very very clear that I think uh, there is definitely a re-emergence, and uh, the legacy players definitely have an ad advantage. Uh, the reader is calling the shots, but however, there is a lot uh, of merit in. leveraging the existing strengths whether it is trust credibility or the quality content that you are providing all of that uh, it's also heartening to see that even in tough times things are working for a lot of categories what you guys discussed about uh, so thank you so much for all your thoughts uh, i don't think this is a topic which which is uh, which can can be discussed in in an hour but thank you so much for all your feedback all your thoughts and um, stay safe thank you so much again Thank, yeah, you. thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.